Hey everyone, my name is Jason. I'll be taking you through your Saturday squat workout of the day. Today is guaranteed to leave you feeling excellent. I'm looking at what it is and we have a lot of work in store for us. To begin, we're gonna go five minute warm up, then a nine minute EMOM, then get into our five sets for max reps of four different movements. You're gonna love it, I'm gonna love it, we're gonna have fun, we're gonna do it together. To start with, we're gonna warm up. As we're warming up, I'll talk you through a little bit more of what is to come. Grab your dumbbells, grab a jump rope. If you don't have two dumbbells, we got you covered, just have one. If you don't have a jump rope, no problem, we'll find a scaling option. We're gonna begin with one minute of cardio and I'll continue to talk about what we have going on for today. So, in 10 seconds, we're gonna start with some basic jumping jacks. Do them with me and let's get ready to rock and roll. I hope you and your families are having a great day. It's a good time to get in a workout. We're gonna go ahead and do some jumping jacks in two, one, and let's go. Nice and easy here, guys. No need to be crazy, we're just warming up. Now, for today, as soon as we're done with this, we're gonna go to an EMOM of four minutes. That means every minute on the minute of 12 air squats, which I'll demonstrate for you, and then a plank hold. We're gonna get into that in 45 seconds, guys. In 45 seconds, we're gonna do 12 squats, plank hold for the next four minutes. After that, we're gonna rest and recover, and then I'm gonna to talk to you about our nine minute EMOM. After we do our nine minute EMOM, we're gonna rest and recover, and then we're gonna do our five set workout of one minute of air squats, one minute of a variety of different kettlebell swings. You guys are gonna love it. In 15 seconds, we're gonna switch it out for 12 air squats, and then a plank hold. 10 seconds. There you go. Woo. Five seconds, in three, two, one. Now, nice and easy, take your stance, get your shoulder apart, send your hip back and down. Oh, let's just open it up, just 12, three. This should take you about eh, 20 seconds or so. There you go, nice. As I'm squatting, what I'm thinking about, Keep my weight towards my heels. I think that's 12, I hope. I'm gonna go ahead and get into a push-up position for my plank. If you wanna be on your elbows, you can do that also. What I'm thinking about for my air squat is three key things. My weight stays in my heels, my low back stays nice and tight, and the crease of my hip gets below that knee joint. Really working that full range of motion. 10 seconds. I'm wearing a heart rate monitor today for the first time. I'll let you guys know what I'm uh, clocking in at. Two, one, and 12 squats, nice and easy. Right now, my heart rate is at 100 beats a minute. My resting heart rate is pretty low, just to give you guys a, you know, an idea. It's in its 40s, 50s, low 50s, high 40s. Just to give you an idea. Um, I regularly have my heart rate go up pretty high. So trying to necessarily use mine as exactly what you should be shooting for. I'm just sharing with you what I'm doing. Here we go, plank hold again. After this, we have 12 more squats. Maybe try a little bit wider stance. Maybe try a little bit narrower stance. Find what works for you. 15 seconds. Maybe shift back and forth. Feel it out, forward, backward. Have fun here. Five seconds. In two, one, pop up. 12 air squats, move a little bit wider. Open those hips a little bit. Keeping my chest nice and tall. Working that range of motion. Just open it up. On behalf of myself and everybody at NC Fit, we just really appreciate you taking the time to work out with us. All right, this time I'm gonna drop down to my elbows. Why not? Here we go. If you're feeling really good right now, maybe spice it up, up and down, plank to push-up position. What I'm also thinking about right now is bracing my belly. I'm bracing it hard, I'm engaging, getting it ready for what is to come in a minute. 10 seconds. Here we go. Last minute, best minute. Two, one, little burpee. 
All right, 12 air squats. I'm gonna try a little bit narrower stance. See how that feels. Open my ankles a little bit. When I initiate my squat, I'm initiating my hip going back to recruit what's called your posterior chain. Basically, it's just like your butt, your hamstrings, get it all firing. If you initiate with your hip forward, this position, or knee forward, you loosen that power coming out from your rear end. Here we go. Keep holding your position. Let's get it. 20 seconds. All right, 10 seconds. Keep holding. We got some fun coming up in five seconds. Two, one. All right. Boy, oh boy. So, we just got done with our five minute warm up. Your legs should be feeling pretty warm. Body should be waking up, right? You shouldn't be fully ready, but you're waking up. It's like, you know, first cup of coffee. First cup of coffee before you get into your second and third cup if you drink as much as me. All right, EMOM, nine minutes, okay? It's gonna start off with a slow, first minute, slow dumbbell goblet squats. You're gonna hold a dumbbell in your hands in this front rack position or uh, front rack goblet position, slow. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna place our heels on an elevated position. You're gonna see the difference here. I'm gonna put it on one of our NC Fit mats. You could put it on whatever you could find, but just elevate your heel maybe an inch. You'll see, it's pretty cool. After that, we're gonna do a minute of fast DB uh, goblet squats, or normal, okay? Followed by 45 seconds squat hold. You'll then get back into the next minute. So what I need you to do right now is you're only gonna need one dumbbell, and you need to identify a place that you could have your heel slightly elevated. That could be on a book, that could be on a ledge, that could be whatever, but just don't make it much more than an inch, inch and a half, okay? I'm gonna grab my dumbbell, we have a nine minute EMOM, meaning every minute on the minute. Start off slow, let's work our way up. This isn't made to be crazy. The workout, the warm up was our first cup of coffee. This is our second cup of coffee. By the time we get into our full body workout, we're ready to go, okay? So nine minute EMOM, slow goblet squats. That's all I need you to do with me. Everybody ready? We're gonna hold our dumbbell, we're gonna place our heels, we're gonna have some fun with this. 10 seconds. Ah. Let's get it. Slow. One minute. One. Let's go. My heels are elevated. You should feel, for some of you with tight ankles, this should feel way better. And if it does, that's okay. Right? Let's just work on our ankle flexibility next time. Nice and slow. I'm not even really counting my reps right now. I'm just trying to stay consistent in my approach. Maybe a two tempo down, two tempo up. Nice and smooth. 30 seconds, guys. Talk about some kind of strength building exercise. Time under tension is critical here. 20 seconds. Woo! This is good. In 10 seconds. Now, if you're doing these, and these are terribly hard for you, drop the dumbbell. Don't worry about it. Two, one, and relax. Whew. All right, here we go. Now, we're gonna get back on our dumbbell, hold it in that dumb, uh, goblet position, and this time, we're just kicking it old school. Regular goblet, fast down, fast up. No heels in the position. Something I have to constantly remind myself of is to keep my weight towards my heel. Thirty seconds. Here we go. As soon as we're done with this, we got a squat hold coming up. Try a few different foot positions. Maybe a little bit wider. Maybe a little bit narrower. If you want to, you can push this out in front of you. If that makes it a little bit easier for you to squat, but I prefer to keep it close to my body. Ten seconds. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Three, two, one. Ready, 45 second squat hold. Now I didn't test this one beforehand. This is my first time doing it. When I do a squat hold, what I'm thinking about 
kind of opening up my hips a little bit, trying to keep my weight towards my heel, but sometimes I shift and I try and stay engaged. You're gonna wanna be really relaxed, try and be a little bit more engaged. On this next one, next round, I'm gonna try and not have my feet as towed out. That's my goal. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Oh, ho, ho! All right. All right, here we go. Five seconds. Back to that slow tempo. Let's go. Send the hip back. Keep that heel right there planted. If you need to, right? Drop the dumbbell and just sit back. Two down, two up, right? It's still hard, it still works, right? You're just reducing the weight. But that slow tempo, that time and attention, that's where our money's being made at right now. Now notice one thing that I'm thinking about is my hip goes back, my knees stay out, my chest stays tall. Focus on it with me. Send that hip back, drive those knees out, keep that chest tall. 10 more seconds, slow as your friend right now. My heart rate's not going too crazy. It's nice and chill right now. All right, here we go. So we got through our slow, now it's time to speed it up just a little bit, okay? Grab that goblet squat. Ready. Let's get it. Nice, smooth, consistent pace, down and up. Thirty seconds. You know, some of you guys should take a picture of yourself before and after this workout. Before your shirt's all dry. Afterwards, it's not gonna be that way. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Let's go. Nice and smooth. All right, here we go. Ready, hold that squat. I'm gonna try and put my feet more forward facing. Actually, that's a good idea for a picture. Like dry shirt, wet shirt. Ugh. 30 seconds, guys. Keep holding your position. Last 15. Really fight for that low back position, guys. Really fight to kind of keep it as tight as you can. I know I'm trying as best as I can. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh, oh. All right, last couple minutes here. Last couple minutes. Man, this Imam is tough. Feels good though, a lot of legs building those quads up. Here we go. Everybody ready? Let's get it. Slow goblet squat. Hold it in front of your chest. Send that hip back and down. Knees come out. Shh. 40 seconds. Have we told you how appreciative we are of you guys grinding these out with us? We should tell you that every day, all day. 20 seconds, my upper back starts to get a little bit lit up. Tells me I have a little deficiency back there. I gotta work it more. 15 seconds. Shh. Work that range of motion. Get that depth. Here we go, two, one, and relax. All right, here we go, ready. Last one on here, last hold, and then uh, the party really starts. <laughs> Shh. 
Knees go out, chest stays tall. Last 30 seconds here, and then we hold. Drive out of the bottom quick. Oh, 20 seconds. Now, if you feel the same way, right, if your upper back's hurting, you can also switch to a front rack position, see if that helps. You can put it on your back and do it this way. That's fine too. Or you can remove it all together. Last 10 seconds. Two, one. All right. Now remember, we're only on our second cup of coffee right now. We're gonna really ramp it up here in a little bit. See, so I'm shifting my toes a lot. So I need to remind myself to sit back. Sit back. I'm already feeling my body start to open up as I'm going through this. I don't know about you. 15 seconds, let's get it. You and me. Ten seconds. Ah. Three, two, one. Woo! All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, right now, you know, heart rate not too crazy, hundred and something. Sweat level not too crazy. Okay, but now it goes into five sets for max reps of one minute of air squats, okay? So no weight, just down and up. Then we're going to a one minute DB wide stance dumbbell Russian swing, which I'll show you what we're talking about. No problem, okay? You could do two dumbbells or one. I think for today, I'm gonna to stick with one dumbbell. So I'm gonna send my hip back, drive up, and I'm only gonna come about right here. If that feels easy for me, Okay, I'll go ahead and grab a second one, no problem. Then we get into one minute of double unders, everybody's favorite movement, and then one minute DB double squat thruster. Now you can use a single dumbbell if you've only been using a single dumbbell today, or you can use two dumbbells, and I'll demonstrate what that looks like. So, for the five sets, it starts off with air squats. Everybody knows what that is. After five, uh, one minute of air squats, you'll grab your dumbbell, you'll perform Russian swings. Now if you want to, Okay, you can use two of them, no problem. After with that, you'll do double unders on the jump rope, or if you can't, or if you don't have a jump rope, you can do some taps on the, um, on the dumbbell, which I'll show you. And then finally, you're gonna finish off with double dumbbell squat thrusters. Let me show you what that looks like. So you're gonna hold it here if you only have one. Let's just say you have one, okay? You're gonna send your hip back and down, do a squat, do a squat thrust. Squat, squat thrust, squat, squat thrust. Whether you're using one or using two, I have two here as well. You're gonna do a squat, squat thrust. And that's gonna be your last minute. Then after that, it's everybody's favorite minute, which is one minute of rest, okay? So today, we've already gotten in a ton of work. We've already gotten in our warm up. We've already gotten in a nine minute EMOM. By now, you should already be feeling pretty warm. It's time though for that third cup of coffee. It's time though to change this shirt from whatever color it is to a lot darker, because we're about to get real sweaty real quick. Five sets. Air squats, swings, double unders, double thrusters, rest, repeat for five total rounds. Holy moly. You ready? <laughs> Holy moly. All right. Holy moly. We started 10 seconds, guys. I hope you guys are having as much fun as we are. You know, one of the keys to fitness is I want to be as fit as possible for as long as possible. And if you're not having fun, what are we doing? Let's start 10 seconds, guys. Air squats. If you get 60 in a minute, text message or call Ali and he is buying you Starbucks coffee for life. Here we go, ready, set, let's go. Nice and smooth on the air squats. Right now you should be focused on just sending that hip back and finding your rhythm. I like to bring my arms up into the air. It has a tendency to keep my low back flat and work better positions. Here we go. After this, I'm grabbing that dumbbell and I'm swinging the heck out of it. 30 seconds. Let's go. Now because I'm keeping a nice smooth pace, I'm gonna go for the full minute here. Some of you may need to go for 45 or 50 seconds and take the rest of the time to rest, that's fine. 
15 seconds. 10. In five. Let's go. Send the hip back. Extend the knee, extend the hip. Let's get it. Nice and smooth. You should be non-stop on this, depending on the weight you have. If your weight's too heavy, just mimic the movement. Or just go shorter. Just right here. That's fine. If the weight's light, maybe go overhead. No problem. 30 seconds, guys. Let's go. If you want to, do single arm. Do you want to switch it up a little bit? 15 seconds. Let's go. 10 seconds. And we're getting right on that jump rope. Go back to two hands. Five seconds. All right, everybody's favorite movement. If you cannot do a double under, toe taps. Let's go. A little heart rate elevation here. Smooth is fast here. Jump vertically. Get that wrist rotation in. Keep going. Keep going. Nice work, guys. Nice work. I've been jumping. My, uh, my microphone came out. All good, though. Here we go. 15 seconds, guys. Keep going. Almost there. All right. Now, if you can't do double unders, right? As I demonstrated before, it's right here. Ba, 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 ba. Five seconds. Here we go. Two, one. Let's get those thrusters, guys. You and me, grab that dumbbell. Front rack position. Double squat. One, two, and a thrust. One, thrust. Let's go. Keep going. Non-stop. If one dumbbell is too light for you, grab your second one. Almost done round one. Legs should be feeling good right now. 20 seconds. Squat, squat thrust. 10 seconds. Here you go. Five. One more. Ugh. Woo! All right, now, I hope that was good for you guys. We have a one minute break and we get into our workout, back into our workout. Now, after that first round, that was kind of like my, uh, I don't want to call it a warm up round, that's not fair. That was like my, what am I getting into round? On this next one, I'm gonna try and speed it up a little bit. Um, I might try, do double dumbbell kettlebells for a little bit. See how you guys like those. And then for the double unders, maybe if you don't have a jump rope, you do the taps if you're tired of those. Um, perhaps you can do an up-down, which I'll demonstrate as another alternative to get the heart rate elevated. Okay? Let's have some fun right now, guys. Five seconds. Air squats in three, two, one. Bang it out. Try and see how many you guys can get. My knees spread the floor. You know, we don't understand the importance of hinging. This is super important to get that knee bend, that hip crease bend. I want to be able to sit on a couch without having to use my arms to get up. I want to be able, if I need to, to sit on a toilet for the rest of my life. <laughs> and that's what we're doing right now. We're putting in the work now so we don't have to worry about using 
sitting down on the toilet when we're 60, 70, 80, 90. Ali says he's going to live to 110. 10 seconds. Here we go. Five seconds. Let's go. Two, one, and rotate. Now, if you have two dumbbells and they're relatively light, try a little Russian double dumbbell swing. Here. Shh. Shh. Right? Send the hip back. Same exact thing. If your dumbbells are heavy, right? Switch it out. Let's go right here. Use one. Let's go. I'm gonna try and speed mine up a little bit. I'm gonna pull it down actively. Shh. Go. Switch it out a little bit. Find that rhythm. Let's go. 15 seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. If you don't have a jump rope, okay? That's fine. Get a little up down. Drop to the floor. Get right back up again. All we're thinking about how to get that cardio pursuit. Get it. 30 seconds left. It's Saturday squat time. I like these up downs a lot. Nice way to learn how to use my hips to pull my body in. Get down to the floor, get back up again. 15 seconds. Let's go, five seconds. All right, here we go. Double dumbbell thruster. Air squat, air squat press. Remember, if you have only one, you can be here. Single arm, or right in the middle. Last 20 seconds, finish it out strong. 15 seconds. Five. Ugh. All right. Woo. All right, here we go. Forty-five seconds, rest. Round three coming up. I don't know about you guys. I'm pretty proud of the work we've already accomplished. And we're only two rounds in, so got a few more rounds left, and then we're done for the day. Heart rate is currently at 146, just keeping you guys posted. 15 seconds, air squats coming up. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. There was a lot of years I'd use my heart rate as an indicator of my recovery. Finish a workout like this, and immediately I go test my heart rate to go see how quickly could I recover. Something for you guys to think about. Get back down to normal ranges, whatever that is for you. 30 seconds. Let's get it. Last 20. Nice and smooth here. 
We got that swing coming up. I think I'm gonna do two arms. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Here we go. Swing time. Sounds funny. Uh. 50 seconds. Let's go. Push the pace a little bit right here. Pull it down. Engage the lat. Low back stays flat. Chest is tall at all times. Twenty seconds. Let's go. Man, all you needed today was a single dumbbell. Holy moly! Ten seconds. Five. Two, one, here we go. Let's see if we can get on those double unders, huh? Ready. Nice, smooth jump. If you need to be here, starting like a running man in place. All good. And then when you're ready, let it rip. Let's get it. Whoop. If you're tripping up a lot, switch to single unders, no problem. 30 seconds. Ready. Five seconds. Two. Last 10 seconds here. Grab that dumbbell. Let's let her rip. My elbows are nice and tall. Last 30 seconds. If you need to, rest overhead. Twenty seconds. Here we go. A lot of squats. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Three seconds. And rest. Huh. Huh. All right, 45 seconds, guys. Hope you guys are feeling good. Boy, that was round three, Ellie. We got still got two more rounds. Oh my gosh. My heart rate. Let's see what my heart rate is. Let's see. It is uh, 147, it probably was higher. Hey, Ali, you mind uh, just message Matt and tell him I'm filming? 15 seconds, guys. We're going to get on that. Air squats. I'm going to use my hips. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's get it. My arms, they help propel me up. I don't know about you, but it's game time right now. It's round four. It's like you're in the playoffs. And, uh, you know, it's the best out of five or whatnot. Best out of seven. And you're going for game four. Uh, 30 seconds. Best of Let's go. I'm looking at my cow. Looking at my heart rate. It's pretty low right now. I'm going to bring it up on this next one. 
We're gonna swing the heck out of that kettlebell. I don't know about you. Or dumbbell. 15 seconds. 10. Here we go. Five seconds. All right. Let's get it. Non-stop movement. Non-stop movement. Let's go. Let's see if I can get that heart rate too. It's round four, baby. It's round four. Maybe switch your hands a little bit. Put one underneath the other and then vice versa. 30 seconds. Ugh. 20 seconds, let's go. Almost done, crew. Almost done. 15 seconds, we've worked too hard to get here. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Ugh. Oh boy, here we go. This is the money maker right here. This is the one that's gonna get my heart rate jacked. 142? All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's put in some work right now. Oh, big breath, ready, let's go, it's all relative, right, fine works for you, maybe right here, you're single under all day, right, maybe right here, or maybe you're doubling, let's go, 10 seconds, Woo! The rest of time. Oh, that heart rate. He knows what's up. Let's go. Last minute. Come on. Ugh. Thirty seconds. Let's go, last little bit. Rest overhead if you need to. 15 seconds. Last 10 seconds. Five seconds. One fifty eight. That's good. One fifty eight. Let's see how quick I can get that back down. You know, the thing about the heart rate is everybody's different. So, you know, the nice thing is find out what works for you. And heart rate is just another indicator of of performance. You know, you can count reps. You could see how you feel, right? You know, are you really giving your best effort? Heart rate is just another piece of the puzzle. But we like always being innovative here at NC Fit. And so I'm trying to see if heart rate plays a role in uh, our program. So we will keep you posted. Guys, you know what time it is? It's last round time. Ready, set, no more fluff. Let's go. Forty five seconds. There's no one else but us. This is it. We're winning right now. Last round, best round. Thirty seconds. Let's go. Bang them out. You know we got swings coming up after this. Totally different stimulus. Twenty seconds.
Last 15. Woo! A lot of squats today. <laughs> Five seconds. Three, two, one. Grab it and go. Good. I'm gonna go 30 seconds right arm, 30 seconds left arm. You might be wondering why. The answer is why not? Let's go. Ah, 15 seconds. Always switch it up. Always have fun. I've been doing this every day for over half my life and I still love it. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Switching arms. Way over half an hour, actually. Here we go, 20 seconds. Ugh. Double unders coming up. Plate taps. Find your scale, let's go. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Two, one. Here we go. Oh boy, it's you and me. Ready, let's go. Let's get it. We got 30 seconds in the house. Keep it going. Last 20. Shoot. Here we go. 15 seconds. I was grooving too. 10 seconds. Speed it up. Let's go, last minute. Let's ride. Oh, shoot, I messed that one up. 40 seconds. This is it. Last 30 seconds of work. Finish up strong. Twenty seconds. Let's go. Fifteen. Finish strong. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Don't stop early. Oh. Oh. Oh man. 165. So, I just want to thank you on behalf of myself and everybody at NC Fit for taking the time to crush it with us. Now, don't forget, we have the finisher, and we also have NC Mobility with Dr. Kelly Soret. You have to be looking at this stuff. Check the app, check the athlete lab. And on behalf of myself, like I said, and the rest of the team, thank you so much for joining us. Keep getting after it.